people it is Monday morning it's like 7 30 a.m. and we just had some guests dropped off at our house I have um, the baby the little baby that I usually watch on Tuesdays I have her and her older brother today he was at home today and John's at home today since he's got today off he took today off he's got Tuesday off he's got Wednesday off so just to spend some time with the family um, so it should be an interesting day. Kaya is still sleeping upstairs. Wyatt woke up. He was the first to wake up right out of bed. Raring to go, as always. And then he woke Ava up, like shook her awake to come play. And luckily Kaya is still sleeping. So we have three, five kids today. So it was a good day for John to take off. Not that I couldn't have handled it by myself, but it'll just be a little bit more fun. Uh, so I'm going to feed this little one and then I'm going to try to get dressed and maybe take a shower depending on how she behaves because I don't know if John will want to take her if she's upset. And John's going to make a train track. Hello. Um, and yeah, I just thought we would do another day in the life because people seem to like the last one when I was just staying at home doing nothing. So people wanted to know how I kept my house clean when I had a newborn and I just basically one-handed every single chore. <laughs> And I actually breastfed in a sling when Kai was a baby, but this baby's not breastfed. At least not my breast, <laughs> for that matter. So, I have to get creative. But our floors are disgusting, so... Good morning! Can you say good morning? Say hi! No? Kai woke up, and we're wearing an outfit from Auntie Lisa, and thinking good thoughts for her, because she's going to go in and get her test done today. Yeah? And I'm gonna get the kids milk and then feed Kaya breakfast. Oh boy. What cup what color cup is this, Max? What color is that? Green. Green, that's right, bud. Hi. One. Hand is stuck to your head. Uh-oh. John's hand is stuck to your head, Max. Looks like you're never going home. Yeah, that or John's going home with you. You want breakfast? Yeah. Can you say breakfast? Say eat? Snack? Snack? Did you hear activity yet? My, no, I have not had my, what did you say? Jamie Lee Curtis. Have I had my Jamie Lee Curtis today? No. Oh, you didn't. I want to make my smoothie once Molly wakes up. So you are recording all this nonsense? Mm-hmm. My whole life is nonsense. Whoa, whoa. Give him the cough. Is that mean a bully? Alright, I got it. Oh, I just cleaned your eye chair. How is it already this dirty? Oh, my job is never done. All I do is clean. All I do is clean. Wait till the kids are gone. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so weird. I won't You're know what to do with myself. Not having anything to do. I highly doubt that. I do know what I'll exactly go, what's no, going to No, you know what's going to happen I is I'm, the kids. I'm going to... I can't believe the kids No, are what's going to happen is I'm going to start stalking them at the colleges. So I'm going to make myself some coffee because I'm tired already. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Hey, Maxie. Hey, Mommy. I didn't say your name with a Max. No. And then I'm going to go downstairs and do some laundry um, because laundry is never ending. <sighs> and hope that the house stays relatively clean so I don't have to do a whole lot of stuff. 
I'm okay if like the downstairs gets destroyed, but it drives me nuts when the mess starts coming upstairs. Because there's no reason at all why the huge mess of toys should come upstairs when there's a huge playroom downstairs, you know, that they can destroy. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to do laundry, get the kitchen clean. John's helping do the kitchen. Okay, breakfast in me because I'm starving and so is Kaya. I hate our childproof kitchen. I hate being childproof anything. <laughs> I was trying to close it because it doesn't close all the way yeah, it close unless anything. you like slam it because of the child look at this drawer doesn't close it drives me nuts because you have to like push down the stupid metal tab and then do that all because we can't all because there's sharp things in there we just get rid of all of the sharp things in our lives they probably just rewash these right what do you mean so wash it, wash it. I always wash the bottles I think it's nice to wash them Oh, hopefully Molly stays asleep. That's the biggest thing is that she, since she's so little, she likes to be held and she's got acid reflux, so she likes to be elevated and we got rid of our bouncer a long time ago, so I can't really do anything when she's awake. Max, what can I get for you, bud? And then after today, or after the, the two little kids that aren't ours get picked up, John and I might go to Menards, I think, to look for a cheap rug because our entryway is just... You guys know we have all hardwood floors minus downstairs and these need polished really badly. But all of the salt water that keeps getting dragged in is destroying our hardwood floor. It's just sitting on there and it gets all like, it just looks really bad. So I'm just going to get a bigger area rug because it looks like winter's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. It just snowed another two inches yesterday and it's supposed to snow today as well. Yeah, so I'm going to get a bigger area rug so that people don't keep getting salt, snow, water, or whatever all over our floor, so. Can you say milk? Can you say please? Cuckoo. Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? Yes, you can. She's like, yes, I can say thank you. Can I give out a bunch? Wyatt, who's the... What's your crane's name? <laughs> Uh, Cranky. Cranky the Crane. <laughs> I call it Cranky. Hi, what are you doing? Look how cute that outfit is. We love the outfit. Thank you, Auntie Lisa. Chicka, 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 chicka. Oh, alrighty. All this stuff out of the dryer. I just fluffed it because I felt like it needed to be a little bit de-wrinkled. <laughs> John's upsetting the happy balance that I had going with this little baby. The baby just woke up from her nap. John's holding her and he doesn't like babies this young. He doesn't think they do anything. He likes babies this age. See, I... She's wiping her nose. All of my kids have crusty noses right now, but John is like, we'll take crusty noses over vomit, and it's totally true. The whole vomit, like, illness stage we went through a few weeks ago was not fun. What is going on? I need to take a shower, but first I'm going to do put away all this laundry since all the kids are awake, and John's keeping the baby entertained, and White and Max are downstairs playing, and Kai is going to help me put laundry away, and Ava's over in the corner reading her book about mermaids. So whenever I do laundry, I always end up with a bunch of like random socks in each load. So I always end up putting them in like a basket of just like random socks and I just collect them until every single like article of clothing is clean in the house. And then after I know every single sock in the house is clean, I go through that basket and then I pair up each sock and if there's any sock left over after like a month of doing laundry, I get rid of them. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I'm weird. But anyways, then I just leave the basket at the end of the hall. <laughs> but I folded the laundry, so now I'm going to put it all away. John's still downstairs with the baby. <sighs> and yeah, I don't know. Such a glamorous life I lead, I know. Oh, why it's got dirty laundry that I could have been washing. <laughs> I get so frustrated when I find dirty laundry when I just put a load in. Done, bro. 
stroke the baby. <laughs> you wiping your nose, sweetie? Tom broke the baby and he won't give her back to me because he knows that I can calm her down. He's trying to prove a point. You want up? You ready to give her to me now? I don't know what he's trying to prove. I've always been better with like the little newborn stage. John's better with like the toddler patient stage. I think those are Wyatt's. Yeah, those are Wyatt's. John must have put them in there. I was wondering why I had two corduroys. Yeah. Do you give up yet? <laughs> He's so stubborn. He's like, he'll let. Uh... I was like, John, can you imagine this is what it would be like if we had five kids? He's like, it's not so bad. recycling on like in a like trash bag and then I hang it from the door so that way like when we're on our way out of the house and all bundled up I can just throw it in the recycling bin. Ah. So it's too cold to just make trips outside just for fun. Ah. Hold on sweetie I gotta ah. heat up Molly I gotta heat a bottle for Molly. Don't pull my pants down please. Don't pull my pants down <laughs> so sad I ah. ah who is that? Who's that? Uh, no, that's that's Molly's bottle. Uh, Who's that? Can you say Max? Yeah. Max. Two, five, two, three, two, four. John still isn't giving up yet. Uh, yeah. Ba. Ball? Oh, bottle. Say bottle. Bottle. Nope, that's not yours to put in your mouth. That's Molly's. So Kaya's got a very, very runny nose, and I can't seem to get it all. So we're going to nose free to her. She's like putting her nose next to it. She's like, all done, all done. Hold on, one more. One more. One, one more. more. Kaya. Thank you, Kaya. Good job. She's so good. Look at all the snot. Can you see that? It's so disgusting. That all came out of her nose. And it didn't even come near where, like, that goes into my thing. This thing is a miracle worker. We used it last night. And I'll tell you what, it was worth the, what, $13, $14? Then all you do is um, just, like, I'm going to just wash it with some hot water and soap and stuff real quick. But I love this thing. I'm happy we got it. We wanted to get one last year um, when Ava or when Kaya had RSV, but none of the stores around us, except for the specialty stores, carried them, and they were always closed at like weird hours. Like I hate specialty boutiques because they're never open. They're always open during weird hours, and it's just like, how do you expect people to shop if you don't like if you're not open? But so we bought one this year when we were at a specialty store, even though none of our kids were sick. We were like, all right, let's buy it now while we see it. And of course, wouldn't you know it, of course this year they carry it everywhere, like at Target. Where else did we see one? Toys R Us, like they sell them everywhere now. But it was like 13 or $14 and it just like really, really works. So I love this invention. So I switched the laundry. That's the last load after that's dry and I put it away. That's the last load I have for today because I don't have enough after that to do a full load. We're waiting on the bottle still. John is calming the baby down. Kaya is having a snack. You say snack? Me not shy. Ava's upstairs, I think coloring. Wyatt's downstairs making a mess. Max is upstairs with Ava too. It's so funny, he loves her. And I don't know, she, he just keeps asking, where's Ava, where's Ava? Because Ava's so good with kids. Um, yeah. I've swept the floor now six times since I've been up. 
That's just what life is like with children and a white floor. And yeah, and it's only 10.30 in the morning. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to my life, John. I didn't take pictures of the child. Somebody asked, or somebody said, made a comment saying, like, I really appreciate that you don't show people's kids. And it's like, yeah, that should be a normal thing, I feel. Like, if it's not your kid, you shouldn't show them on, like, your social media sites. You shouldn't show them on, like, videos without the parents' permission. Like, I see so many pictures of people that take videos or pictures of their kids at school with their classmates and post them, like, on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and all I'm thinking is if somebody did that with my kids I would be really upset if I didn't know where my kids were popping up online so I make sure not to show faces of any of the kids that are hanging out at our house or my nieces or anybody else without like the parents permission like my sister-in-law doesn't mind when I show pictures or like when I post things about her um, daughters which if you guys follow my blog like they're the blonde girls that pop up on my blog every once in a while but like my other brother and my sister-in-law you know they are totally no ba baby pictures nothing of their daughter on social media so I respect their feelings as well so with like my friends babies and kids like you just don't show other people's kids online like that's just weird I don't know that's just weird it's not your kids yeah that's what Josh said it's not your kids not your property you're not allowed to uh, anyways, so yeah, it's only 10.30. This is a long day. No, you're not all done. Once again, I'm sweet. Uh, I don't sweep up the cereal. And a kid's going to come through here and step on it. And then track the little crummies all over the house. And I won't know where they are exactly. So I sweep all the time to just kind of stop it in its tracks. The lesser of two evils. Half this video is just going to be of me sweeping the floor. <laughs> John asked for another baby. I said, heck no. I can't even make any babies, which is probably why he asked for one, because he knows it's not going to happen. His momentary lapse of judgment. <laughs> Ten bucks says she runs to her dad and asks to be held. <laughs> So the house is pretty clean, minus the downstairs. Laundry's going. All the kids seem happy. Do you have cat white's pony? So I just left John for a half an hour with five kids, and he survived. <laughs> um, I just took a shower and got dressed because. I felt disgusting, so now I'm gonna change Kaya's diaper. Oh, and then get the, I'm gonna change her diaper. We're gonna get lunch going, and then I'm gonna put her and the little boy down for a nap, and then when they're sleeping, I'm going to clean up all the toys down here, and then um, do laundry as well, so. You wanna eat lunch? Okay, let me change your diaper, bud, okay? Can you lay down over there so I can change your diaper and Kaya's diaper? Thank you. Oh, thanks. Can you we have the one month old sleeping in our bedroom. We have the two year old sleeping in Wyatt's bedroom. And then we have Kaya sleeping in our crib. So hopefully they'll all nap and Wyatt won't wake them up. He's being really difficult today. Um, but hopefully they'll nap and sleep so that way I can get some laundry done. Um, and because they just need naps, Kaya like was. She usually goes down earlier, like around 10 or 11, and it's like 12 right now. Um, but I wanted to feed them all lunch at the same time, because my kids are used to eating lunch late, but Ma um, Max, the two-year-old, isn't. So I wanted them to go down for a nap at the same time. So Kaya was like, she like mowed down her lunch and was like ready to go night night. So um, they're all sleeping. Like I said, this room's pretty much clean, and so is the upstairs. So I will wait to vacuum because like I said, I vacuum like, I will vacuum it, well, probably once a day. And I only do that just because um, there's so much salt in our house and I just don't want Kaya picking it up and it just does, it just damages our hardwood floors and our carpet and all that. So, and like I vacuumed earlier today and already there's like weird pieces of lint, crumbs from breakfast, there's like little pieces of like Kleenex, so 
I just like to vacuum every day because it's not that hard. It takes maybe 15 minutes to vacuum the whole house and then it just is like an easy way to make things look clean. So I'm going to go make lunch now for John and I um, and hope that Molly sleeps a little bit longer because she's the one who's been sleeping and she's been sleeping for the last half hour. So my fear was that after I got the other two asleep that Molly would wake up and then yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy John's home because I could manage five kids by myself because we have a one month old, a two year old, a three year old, a one year old, and a nine year old. And I could have managed by myself perfectly fine, but it's just easier. Like I wouldn't have been able to take a shower if John wouldn't have been home. So anyways, my mom brought over these like gingerbread men. They're called my Pepperidge Farm and they're so good. I never knew I liked gingerbread men, but these are like, they're really thin and crispy. Oh, they're amazing. I don't know if they sell them year round, but I really hope they do. I hope they're not seasonal. Anyways, I think I'm gonna pick some up today when we go to the grocery store. So I'm exhausted and ready to go to bed. <laughs> it's um like 1.30. I just finished folding more laundry and then I'm gonna put that away once all the kids wake up. Um, the two little ones, dad, my skin is bad right now. The two little ones, stop mooning us. <laughs> John's mooning us. Uh, the two little ones, Dad's going to be picking them up like in the next half hour. They're both still sleeping though, and I hate waking up babies. Um, but after that, I'll put away the rest of the laundry. And then I think we're going to head to the store to get a rug for over there in front of the closet door. I'm exhausted, and it's not because of the kids. Because I'm used to taking care of kids, but I stayed up to like... Oh God, like four o'clock yesterday, um, my endometriosis for some reason was kicking in and it hurt. And so I took a Percocet and one of the side effects of Percocet is um, insomnia. So instead of getting all drowsy and stuff like sometimes I do, I actually woke up more. So I ended up staying up till 4 a.m. watching those stupid gypsy shows. I think I was watching Gypsy Sisters or, me, or my big fat gypsy wedding the british version and then i started watching gypsy sisters and it was just bad so i finally went to bed at like four and then i had to wake up at seven because that's when the kids came for me to watch them so i'm like ready for bed <laughs> but i know if i take a nap at this point i will either wake up really cranky or i will not wake up at all so or i'll wake up at like three o'clock this morning or tomorrow morning and be like all upset and not be able to go back to sleep so my only option is to just stay awake even if it kills me. <laughs> so I think the only way to do that is going to be to keep busy like I normally do. So after, like I said, the kids get picked up, we'll go to the store and then try to stay awake and stuff. And then tomorrow is Ava goes back to school and John has tomorrow off, so that'll be nice. We're going to go to her school because she has a poetry reading, so that'll be nice. But anyways, um, sorry, I'm trying to like my necklace... There's only three. Oh, there they. Oh, I guess they're all there. This is what John got me for Valentine's Day. It's got all of my kids' initials, and then it's got John's initial. The one that I used to have was just the th Ava and Wyatt's initials, and I bought that for myself for Christmas like three years ago. <sighs> Anyways, I'm tired. <laughs> I sound so pathetic. Poor Kelly. I always complain. Anyways. You okay? You in the vacuum with me? Oh, I knocked the vacuum over and I scared her. Come on, let's vacuum. Let's go bye-bye. All bye. clean. You ready to go bye-bye? Bye. Yeah, let's go bye-bye. Go upstairs and get your shoes and your, your boots and your coat on. Can't take the vacuum, sweetie. You know, she's like, but you vacuum all the time. No, go upstairs and get your boots and your coat. Can you go get your coat? Can you go get your coat? We don't bring. Go get your coat. Leave that here. Sweetie, leave that here. Let's go get our coats. Can you measure that area? Yeah. So, see, this is a perfect example. I'm not mad, but. See that? That's all like, um, that's salt soot and dirt and it's ruining our hardwood floors. Like I just cleaned them 
And then somebody walked in and tracked in that just from like stepping on it for a few seconds. So we're gonna get a rug. Hopefully it won't be too ugly, but we'll get one that's like covers all that area. <sighs> Hi, CD. Woo! You're okay. And then our kitchen still needs clean. We're in the middle of emptying the dishwasher, but we need to get out of the house before it gets too late. Because we want to get home in time to make dinner. And those are bits I'm trying to get rid of. Hey, I need to go put your dirty diaper in the... Our kids are not always pleasant, as you guys can see. I need to do diaper wash again. I do it every two to three days. And I think I tell you guys that every single time I do it. So if you hear screaming, it's because Wyatt's in a timeout right now because he wasn't listening. And we're trying to be more um, quick with our disciplining him just because he's three. And if you have a three-year-old, like, you have to be stern with them or they just try to run your house. And that's kind of how he's been since he was a baby. He's kind of just like... I don't know, really worked us over. So um, that's what that screaming is. I'm gonna measure the floor in front of our closet because whenever we go, it seems like whenever we go and get things for the house, we never measure before we go. And then we're like, well, is this gonna fit? Like eyeballing it like idiots. And we're just like, why didn't we just like measure it? So we're gonna measure that and then we're gonna go. And also I'm gonna check because somebody said, Somebody mentioned to me, I think you, they emailed me or they maybe left a comment on Facebook saying that I can find ketchup chips at Menards. At least their Menards had it. So I'm going to check our Menards and see. There's John. Are you naked? No, he's not naked. I don't know why I thought he was naked. When one kid stops crying, the other one starts crying. Oh, and when we get back, I'm going to tackle that sock pile of random socks. And I think that's the towel. And there's my bra. And John's getting naked. Oh, no, he's not getting naked. Why do you keep wishful thinking or something? <laughs> What's happening, guys? Uh, all right, kids. Everybody get your coats and shoes and boots and whatever on. Come on. Hop, 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 hop. Ah. <laughs> all right, Kaya. Can you go get your coat? Wipe the nosy. You go get your coat, Kaya. We are on our way to Menards, and John Menards, Menards. We're on my way. We're on the way to Menards. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. Anyways, the traffic's not bad, and John is like, "This would probably be a bad time to go to the grocery store." And granted, we need to go to the grocery store, but like, we don't have any groceries right now. Um, but unfortunately, there's a huge snowstorm coming our way when we're supposed to get like five to six inches tonight. So our area has the tendency to freak out over nothing. So like the last snowstorm we had, which was still tolerable, like you could still drive. Every single like all the fresh produce, all the meat, everything was gone at the grocery store. So I can only imagine what people are doing now since we already have like what two feet of snow. We're Which, almost to seven. Yeah, so people are probably going to freak out and go to the grocery store. So if we can get out of Menards, <laughs> Menards, early enough, we might stop by the grocery store on the way home. Okay, so now we're on our way to Menards. <laughs> we had to turn around because Kelly accidentally forgot to give back some breast milk to uh, Molly's parents, which this is actually, holy cow, break much, John. <laughs> This is actually the second time this week I have stolen breast milk on accident. <laughs> My brother, when he got home from uh, picking up Olive last week, was like, Hey, is there an extra breast milk bottle in your refrigerator? And sure enough, there was. It was, like, hidden behind a yogurt, and I totally, like, I don't know, I ditched on it and forgot to give back, which is not like me. I usually give back everything. And, you know, granted, if it was frozen, it wouldn't have mattered because I could have used it this coming Friday when I watch her. But since it was refrigerated, like, then it goes bad. And I feel so bad because, like, you guys know if you breastfeed, like, pumped breast milk is not easy to come by. Um, and so, th luckily, this breast milk was frozen, so we stuck it in a little cooler and ice packs, even though it's freezing outside right now. It probably would have been safe, but I didn't want to, like, hygienically leave it just in the mailbox for um, her dad to come pick up. So... That's me, I apparently steal breast milk now. <laughs> um, which also I know realized today as I was testing the temperature of Molly's milk before I gave it to her, 
I've now sprayed like two different women's breast milk on my wrists in the past week, which is really weird and even more weird that I just said it out loud. But it just doesn't occur to me that like it's somebody else's, I guess, because I'm so used to doing it with my own. And then like numerous times, like you know how when you tip a bottle or maybe a bottle like falls over on its side, it spurts out like a little stream. Yeah, that's happened on our couch like th numerous times with my niece's bottles and then now with Molly's bottles. So it's like, great. Now like tons of people's breast milk have been on our couch, which John's over here like, uh, <laughs> we're getting a new couch. But no, it's just, it's just funny to think about because so many people are weirded out about breast milk and other people's like bodily fluids. And I'm just like, meh, whatever. It's just boob milk. Oh, yeah. Harmony thinks we should just get one of these heavy duty ones. Like this wouldn't look too bad. Guys, what do you think? Will this look too bad? So we ended up getting these area rugs. They're called like, I don't remember what the brand is, but they're four by six. They're really soft. They're nice, they're only $14.99. So we got one for our room and one for the one for the front room. No, these are too expensive of rugs. I'm not buying an expensive rug until the kids are older. <laughs> There's just no point of owning anything nice when you have kids. Just remember that, because milk will be spilled, they will be thrown up on, they will be stepped on. There's just no point. They'll be pooped on, they'll be peed on, John just said. <laughs> Our food will get on it, so we get the cheap rugs until they're bigger. So they didn't have ketchup chips, so to make myself feel better, I'm getting some chocolate. Here's a little caramel corn with peanuts. It's called Hanky Panky. Need some white dipped honey braided twists and some peppermint dipped snowflakes because I love them. So maybe that'll make me feel better since I can't seem to find ketchup chips. Oh, they're my white whale. So it's freezing out. Are you guys cold? It's freezing. I buckled up my hood, which I've never done this before. This is now what I look like. And look, I found this nail polish. <laughs> If you, I bought a bunch of nail polishes at CVS like two weekends ago and this must have fallen underneath the chair and I didn't notice so that just goes to show how many nail polishes I have so that, it's cute so yeah but I don't know where we're doing, going next are we am I yelling I feel like I'm yelling because I can't no go. you're not yelling <laughs> where are we going next I don't know where do you want to go are we gonna go grocery? are you yelling I can't Sorry. hear where do you want to go Hi, what's wrong with your hair? <laughs> it's awfully messy. Okay. Okay. Good job. You got your you got your measuring tape on? Alright, let's go get cake pops. Cake pops! Alright. Everyone's got their cake pops. So the girl didn't make our drinks originally decaf, so she gave us a free drink. Uh oh, her boots about to fall off. Code red or code pink? Code pink. We're looking at sushi, and we got some drinks. And we're waiting for Ava to go to the bathroom. Ooh, a dynamite roll. You grooving? No. I'm left alone to my own devices, so of course I'm going to go to the makeup aisle and the baby aisle. <laughs> so the idea is, is because this week's kind of a weird week, so we're trying to get a bunch of like frozen foods so that I don't have to really do a bunch of cooking, and so I got a bunch of fruits and vegetables, like fresh fruits and vegetables, to kind of offset the unhealthy frozen foods. <laughs> That's the way Kelly thinks, but um... Yeah, so I need to get some healthier meals though for Kaya. And the reason why we're trying to make things easy for me is because John's gonna be on his Denver trip. So, yeah, that's why. So we are done at Kroger and we just bought a ton of food, but we absolutely didn't have any food and I don't think we did a meal planned Kroger trip last week. We didn't go and do grocery shopping last week, did we? Uh huh, yeah, I went. You went and got two meals worth. I got a couple of meals. Anyway, so like we we are Why done. Um, I picked up two new nail polishes, even though I just found one underneath my chair. <laughs> but these are by Sally Hansen, and they're like you can't see them. They're called fuzzy coats. They have these little confetti-looking spark or not sparkles, but glitters in them. 
It's weird. They look really interesting. This multicolored one, this yellow multicolored one, um, I think it's either Sephora Extreme Wear or whatever their brand is or Deborah Lippman. One of them had one that looked exactly like this and I was like, ooh, I want to try that. But it was like $15 or something like that. And I refuse to spend that much money on nail polish. So this one was only $5. So that's just, that's better for everyone involved. So we are headed home. We got sushi for dinner tonight just to be easy and because we went to Kroger and usually we get sushi on Sundays. Um, but we're headed home, we're gonna eat dinner and then we'll start our bedtime routine. It's 529. So that means that we'll start doing the bedtime routine around 7.30. Yeah. 